Hi there, everybody. You're trading with me, Jack, and of course, as always, with my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. We're deep in the woods today in the Shenandoah Mountains of Virginia. We're near a place called Luray Caverns. You can look that up. And not that far from Harrisonburg, which is home to James Madison University. It's after work, and it stays light here until pretty late into the evening hours, so I thought I'd check out one of the local trails. So I am on one. It's called the Kennedy Peak Trail. It's going to be a couple of miles long, and boy, it's a lot different from back home in Arizona because you've got deep, deep forests, as you can see, in all directions. But I understand the payoff is going to be an amazing view of the Shenandoah Valley. So stick around, and we'll check it out for you. As we make our way along the trail, I want you to point out that, believe it or not, it is the middle of June, and it's not hot and humid. In fact, it's breezy, and uh, in the shade, you might actually need a jacket. I suspect we're only in the probably low, maybe mid-70s, and tonight's going to get chilly as well. They tell me they've yet to really have any hot weather, so we could not have picked a per more perfect day to be hiking again in the Shenandoah Mountains. And you can see it is really pretty along here, but again, very different from in the west because you don't see a lot in any direction other than just lots and lots of vegetation. And then we look up above there, you can see it is a nice, nice day. So we'll continue on here, heading towards the Kennedy Peak Overlook is what I understand. It's pretty windy as well. Notice when you look at the green leaves. I remember as a kid growing up in the south when they almost would look like that, where they're turned back and almost white looking. Well, my grandparents always said, a storm's a coming. But so far, so good. I don't think we've got to worry about that today. But still, just a little interesting weather tidbit I thought you might enjoy knowing. So it's my understanding we're about three quarters of the way up. It's two miles to the actual overlook. So this will be a four-mile round trip. The view hasn't changed much, but it's still beautiful. And I do anticipate showing you that magnificent overlook just any minute now. Okay, whoever said it was two miles in was wrong. We've passed the two and a quarter mile mark. We're still not there. And I'll keep repeating myself. The trail has gotten a lot narrower. Still lots of heavy vegetation. Still no sign of the overlook. But trust me, I am going to get you to the overlook eventually. I think. I hope. Okay, we've now gone two and a half miles. Half mile past what they originally told us it was to the peak. And... Lo and behold, there's a sign that says Kennedy Peak. Pen Ken I can't even talk now. Kennedy Peak up that hill. So let's go see if this is eventually going to get us to the overlook. Okay, we're almost there because we're actually starting to see a bit of the Shenandoah Valley. But believe it or not, we're still heading up. We're now two and three quarter miles in. And to quote the Barry Manilow song, looks like we made it finally to Kennedy Peak. Here's the shelter. We're going to go around the corner, though, because I know we can go upstairs and get a view of the incredible Shenandoah Valley. It ended up being, well, about three quarters of a mile further than we thought, two and three quarter miles up. But I can tell you, after seeing where we are now, it was well worth it. And we've got the observation deck to ourselves. Take a look at this, friends. The magnificent Shenandoah Valley. There's the Shenandoah River down below flowing. The valley, the Shenandoah Mountains. Man, oh man, this makes life worth living. So we made it to the top. I certainly hope you enjoyed this beautiful trail in the beautiful Shenandoah Mountains. Again, though, some of you may look it up, the Kennedy Peak Trail, and some will say, oh, it's easy. Now, I would rate this more moderate, especially the last mile or so. It's also longer than what they tell you. By the time we get back, round trip is going to be over five miles, not quite six. But the payoff, again, absolutely worth it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I would come back, and I'll give this one a healthy five out of five stars. Thanks for watching our channel. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, check out the podcast, Love Letters to Pam. Until we do see you that next day, make it a great day. Better yet, a better tomorrow. And bye now again from the beautiful Shenandoah.